the World Anti-Doping Agency is at the forefront of the fight against drugs in sport. It sets out the ground rules and procedures, tests athletes for doping and regularly updates its list of prescribed substances. Specific drugs like anabolic steroids are banned at all times, while other substances are only prohibited during competition or for certain sports. For example, beta blockers are banned in archery and shooting because they help keep the heart rate low and hands steady. Blood doping is one of the most effective ways of illegally improving performance and endurance and is particularly prolific in professional cycling. Certain techniques, taking the blood-boosting hormone EPO, synthetic oxygen carriers and blood transfusions can be used to boost levels of oxygen-carrying haemoglobin. Increasing red blood cell count means more oxygen reaches muscles, increasing stamina and performance. While EPO and synthetic oxygen carriers can be detected, some types of blood transfusion are harder to trace, for example when athletes infuse their own blood. Detection methods include measuring total haemoglobin mass or testing for plasticizers which are byproducts of the container the blood was stored in. As doping becomes more sophisticated, the athlete biological passport is a key tool in trying to track down cheaters. Athletes are monitored throughout a season and certain markers are regularly measured. For example, heart rhythms, factor weight ratios, blood and urine levels. Any irregular biological changes outside permissible limits will indicate the strong possibility that illegal substances are present in the athlete's system. But even this program isn't perfect. Small frequent use of EPO, testosterone or even insulin known as microdosing can circumvent biological passports.